Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. You haven't seen me for a couple of days, but as I mentioned on my little um, Snapchat video that I posted earlier, I've been, uh, I just took a couple of days off to have a little R&R. &R. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed and just have to, so for my own sanity. So anyway, I have a Dollar Tree haul here. I got several in the back and I'm hoping to bring you guys a Dollar Tree haul every single day through the end of October. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and dive in. Tomorrow we will have a recipe, me and Fee, as far as I know. We will have a recipe. We already have a recipe planned, and we are both super excited about it. Um, yeah, so I actually had to get this right here for that recipe. So this is just they're calling it a turkey tray. We're not using it for turkey, guys. Um, yeah. So it, look how mirror like you could use this as a mirror mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You could totally use that. I mean, like. Okay, I'm getting too carried away. Okay, anyway, like, looky there. Whoa! Um, my mind went, like, totally out there when I saw it was just like a mirror. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll be using this tomorrow. We are both super excited about what we're making. So, yeah. And we're planning on doing some diamond art tomorrow, but I'm thinking we are going to try to go live. Um while we're doing it and just take turns like answering questions and stuff like that we're going to try that because i feel like diamond art would be kind of boring to watch like you know like you're watching people just bend over you know i just feel like that's going to be boro so we don't want boro up in gypsy house gypsy's house not jippy jippy never mind never mind okay guys let me show you what i got here let's see um they have a couple of new kids games which I'm loving. Um, they look really cute. First of all, this one right here, Don't Let Them Pop is what it's called. It is, I'm not sure. It reminds me of the one where you used to try to put, get all the shapes put in before you know they all popped out. So I'm not sure. Discs, game board, game dice, and label sheet. 22 run oh that's hold on so push the bar of the game board to the other end and keep holding the bar in place oh then place all the discs into the game board and gently release the bar so the discs move closer to each other which is going to put some major pressure on them so i guess you put the labels on the game dice roll the dice and it tells you what color discs you have to remove from the game board you're allowed to touch two discs before deciding whether they are going to remove on uh, oh you, if you're going to remove one of them or pass if you decide to remove the disc you can keep it as long as any other disc does not pop out okay so there's points for the discs and then it says the game ends when there are five or less discs you can win the game if you get the highest total points i'm not really understanding 100 percent but it looked cute, so that's going to be great stocking stuffers for the girls. And then I got this one here. Don't let the marbles fall. And there's a, kind of a picture of how it's going to look when it's all put together, which is cute. It sort of looks like a little spaceship up in there. But don't let the marbles fall. So you put the marbles in there. You put the, the sticks through the holes. And then you take turns um, pulling the stick out and pulling the ones out that won't make the marbles fall. So I like when they come out with new little games. Because, you know, kids get tired of their games quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay. Because things are not together like they should be, I just want to say, um, whenever I was, I, I did the video of me getting the um, goodies together for the Humane Society, I got a message from Jessica from the Meats family over on Instagram, and she wanted to donate, she wanted to donate $10 so I could pick up 10 items from the Dollar Tree, you know, so, you know, so, so she could help out with the Humane Society, which was so, so sweet. Thank you so much, Jessica. Definitely picked up 10 items in there just now, and unfortunately, they're not all in the same bag. So I thought I got them all out, but now I'm looking in here, and I'm like, crap. So as I pull out items, um, I'll just let you know, this is 
from Jessica. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So I'll start out with this right here, which I thought was super cute. Now, let me just say also, I know a lot of people was very c concerned because I didn't get dog food or cat food. Like, um, I got mainly treats and toys and stuff like that because we as a clinic are going to buy like pallets of the cat food that they're, they're the dog food pedigree and the cat food fancy feast we're going to do that as a clinic and just buy you know pallets of that so I'm not picking that up in the Dollar Tree so don't get discouraged and don't get upset people if you see me not grabbing food okay because I am grabbing things that you know just the dogs can play with they can snack on or whatever I'm not um I don't know what the word is, but I, I'm just doing the best I can do with what I have to work with, okay? So, like, no, neg no negative Nancys, okay, guys? Please. Okay, so anyway, having said that, loving this toy. Um, it just says dog toy, and it, it's like, um, it has a, a cover on it that's like sweatery, sort of, but <coughs> boom. It makes noise. It's a squeaky toy, so I liked it. I like the colors, so that is one of the things that Jessica bought <laughs> and then also these right here these are alpo t-bones filet mignon flavor i mean come on give me one of them i'll take one anyway that and then also in this bag are well a couple of things actually um i got this right here this is a peanut butter flavor jumbo dog biscuit yep grab that and then this right here is a dog harness for a medium-sized dog. So I grabbed that because, you know, I don't know what kind of situation, what all kinds of things they're needing and stuff. So I did grab those. So anyway, that's the, that's the stuff from Jessica so far, okay? And then I found these cool pens. Um, they are actually, what brand are these? Crayola? Crayola's been coming out with like a lot of stuff. From, you know for the Dollar Tree here lately and I'm loving it um, this is Crayola take note they're felt tip pins and it comes two to a pack so I love writing in felt tip pins I actually love like right now I'm, I'm reading like so many different self-help books and stuff like that <laughs> it's funny but I am um, so I'm like always writing in my books and underlining and trying to highlight and just you know scribbling stuff in there i do that all the time so i like to use vibrant brightly colored pens i always try to make sure they don't leak to the other side usually crayolas are very good about that so i went ahead and grabbed, picked up these this is the pink and red ones and then this is a light blue and a dark blue and then this one is a purple and a green so yeah this is perfect for writing even journaling or doing your weekly menus and lists and stuff like that. Perfect because I love color. I love using color. I hate bland stuff, so it works out perfectly. <coughs> okay. What do we have? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll be right back. Can I just say a wish list item? Super excited, super duper excited to have found this. Okay, so, and I got two. I got one for me and one for my daughter and one for Hallie. Um, I'm gonna let them pick out which, which kind they want first. And then um, I may give the other one to Kendall. I don't know yet, I'll have to see. But th this is the gnome for the holidays. This is perfect for iced coffee, iced Dr. Pepper, you know, whatever, iced tea, whatever you want to drink in here milk i mean why not but i'm not gonna drink milk in here but anyway i just can't stand drinking milk with stuff with straw like you know i don't, I don't know this is definitely not a milk cup but anyway look at the gnomes i can't i feel like there's a really big glare but they are so adorable i was super duper happy to find these i did not find the big gnomes that stand up yet um but I'm getting ready to go to another Dollar Tree. It's 2:28. I got to do that, and then I got to go home and make a pot of chili. So I think I'll have plenty of time to do that. So, um, yeah. So anyway, grab those, and I think I'm thinking these are my fave. So I may decide to keep one of these. I don't know. 
make sure I mean and these are good cups these do not leak which is a big deal you know they do not leak so this one says gnome for the holidays as well and it's just you know the gnomes obviously and this is more like for a hot beverage although you don't have to put a hot beverage in here um, it just says tumbler goblet of course it's by Greenbrier but Everybody's all up in the gnomes this year, and me included, baby. Me included. I love it. And then I just saw this. This is a beautiful decorative bow, and I love the buffalo check, and I just thought that would be really, really pretty on a wreath. Or even, if nothing else, else, I'm not going to do it. If nothing else, just hang it on the front door. So I don't know if I'll keep it or I'll, I'll let Hallie and Josh or Felicia have it. I don't know yet, but it's gorgeous. I just had to grab it. They had a couple more different kinds, but the buffalo check, you know, I just feel like in a nice big bow, that's so pretty. This would also be really pretty if you are doing a big gift for Christmas, just to use this on the gift. Wouldn't that be great? I just think that'd be really, really pretty. So yeah, so I'll grab that. I'm so glad to be back doing Dollar Tree hauls. Super excited. Let me just say, that Dollar Tree was so hot in there, like, um, I'm telling you, my hair paint is still looking wet. I had to stick it up because, like, underneath is sopping wet, okay? It was so hot in there. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's me. I don't know. It was ridiculous, though. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and haul this because we actually need this at home. This is what my husband um, and mother-in-law, I don't think my son, me and my son drink our coffee black. Um, unless like sometimes I'll use heavy whipping cream like sometimes I'll do a bulletproof coffee or something but normally I drink mine black just to save the calories but my husband on the other hand yeah he loves his coffee mate usually I buy the Walmart Equate brand and I'll buy the big containers and usually we don't run out so accidentally I guess because I took that two-day hiatus we ran out. So I'm like, I'll pick some up today. It's okay. So there's that. It's just the regular coffee mate. It's the powder creamer. And then I found the Grindworthy coffee. Okay. Um, I tried the, what is the, 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 the moon one? The one with the moon. I can't think of the name of it. I actually tried one of those the other day and I was totally not impressed. That's my review on it. I can't remember which one. I think it was the French roast, maybe. I mean, is it just a regular coffee? It definitely was not the donut donut shop. Um, it was one of the other ones. So I tried it out, and I definitely was not impressed. It reminded me of a Starbucks. Starbucks are too. They're just they're too. Uh, strong for one thing not that I don't like I love strong coffee but there's just gets to a certain point where it's almost interferes with your taste buds you know it's like acidic I don't know I just didn't care for it so yeah I'm hoping these will be better this is the grind worthy donut shop blend I went ahead and grabbed two of these so I, I just love the looks of them for one thing and I think these are wrapped up in plastic because I saw Donna unboxes she did a review on these. Yeah, they are wrapped up in pot, which is different, quite different. Like, I feel like that's probably extra packaging that they probably don't need to do. But these are good until 8 1 of 2021, if you're wondering. I'm just going to open them all up and I'm going to stick them in my little um, holder that holds all my little Keurig pods or whatever. And then, I saw that she said that this one right here was really good. Um, it is a French vanilla, grind-worthy, premium Arabica beans. Um, you get four in here, which I think is a really cool deal because a lot of times you can get like three in a box at Walmart, like a little t sampler testing kind of box. But, yeah. <sighs> so, there's that. <laughs> okay, now let me see. Is that it? What time frame are we up to? Only 14. Oh, I do have a couple of rolls of wrap to show you. I forgot this one last time. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to make sure to get it before I took it in. This is kind of old school to me. Just the looks of it. I feel like it's old school Mickey. And you got Pluto on there too. And you have 
Is that Minnie? Yeah, you got Minnie too. Here's Minnie, and this, if you can see that, that's definitely old school looking. So, I just thought it was really pretty. I think it would look really pretty wrapped up, you know, a present wrapped up in it. So, I got one of those. I'm trying to get like all different or most different um, rolls. I'm going to go ahead and show you these two really quick while I'm at it. This one right here is probably one of my favorites because this is one of my favorite Christmas cartoons. I mean, you know, we have Rudolph, we have Frosty the Snowman, we have Santa Claus is coming to town, all that old claymation stuff. Man, watching that stuff takes me back so much. It just gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling in your soul, which I love. So I love that picture right there of Rudolph and the little girl. What was her name, Patty? I can't remember. How horrible. I haven't watched it this year, guys. Give me a break. But anyway, I just thought this was gorgeous. I love the trees are white on this. I just think it's really, really pretty. And then I might as well go ahead and do this one. Let's see which one this is. Oh, this one makes me happy in my soul. Okay, so this one is Rudolph. Actually, we have Hermie, who wanted to be a dentist. You know, the little old elf. We have the abominable snowman. Look at him, he's adorbs. We have um, Clarice, where'd she go? Here she is, Clarice. We may not have Rudolph, I don't know. I don't think we do. I did see somebody else though. Um, I think I saw Charlie in the box. Did I? Or am I losing it? I kinda swore I saw Charlie in the box, guys. Am I losing it? No, I know I see him. I see part of him. I can't unwrap it, but I definitely see part of a Charlie in the box. And I see the elephant with spots from the island. We're from the island of Misfit Toys. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, my son came to get something out of the car for me. And he's like, Mom, he's like, it feels like Christmas in your car. I'm like, I know. He's like. I see, I see Christmas paper, I see Christmas decorations, and it smells like Christmas. And that's, it smells like Christmas because I still have these in here. I hauled these back in, what, when was it? Maybe even July, I don't know, July or September, one of the two. And it's the Happy Fall, y'all, trucks, they're cinnamon. And they smell magnificent. My car has been smelling magnificently like cinnamon ever since. And I just I just haven't bothered taking them out. I love the looks of them. I just leave them over here in my seat. This is how I roll. It's ridiculous, I know. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. Let's see if I can get this processed. See if I can get to the other Dollar Tree uh, before I run out of steam. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this type of video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, guys. And I will definitely be back with Dollar Trees every single day for the rest of October. Be ready for it, guys. Bye!